you everybody. How are we? We good? Are we amazing? Are we good? We're great. Are we amazing? Are we fantastic? All right. Yeah? We're doing it? What do you guys think about this school compared to other schools your friends are in? It's safe. Yeah. It's, it's what? It's safe. Here and safe. The important part of this work is creating healthy humans. In Israel, there is not a lot of opportunities for Jewish, Arab children or adults to live together, to work together, to study together, to grow up, to grow up together. في هنا عندنا حضارتين أو مجتمعين مجتمع الإسرائيلي ومجتمع الفلسطيني العربي ولازم نربي الأولاد بوعي فكري وقلبي إنه يجمع الأشياء إنها مع بعض. السلام عليكم. So it's a daily thing for a child to see, for example, for a Jewish child to be held and caressed by a Muslim lady, or the opposite. So the child will never be afraid of a, a Muslim lady because she has a hijab, or the other way around. So, guten Tag, hallo. Seit äh, 2014 erlebt Europa eine große Flüchtlingskrise. Davon ist auch die Schule hier in Karlsruhe, das Parsival Zentrum, betroffen. Wir hatten in, äh, im letzten Jahr bis zu 160 unbegleitete minderjährige Flüchtlinge aus aller Welt gehabt, von China über den Irak, über Syrien bis hin zu den ganzen afrikanischen Ländern, nordafrikanischen Ländern, aber auch von Teilen des Balkans. Einen guten Appetit. It's always the same. The children come and uh, they feel there is help. Most of the teachers here, they have like a real close relationship with the children here. They're like brothers and sisters to us. Or like they can be like like our mom and dad to us sometimes. So, dass es um das Kind zentral geht. Und das Kind eigentlich die Leitlinie ist, um eine Schule überhaupt erstens zu bilden und am Leben zu erhalten, wieder neu zu gestalten. ولا البناء ولا الألعاب ولا الألوان مهم المعلمة إذا المعلمة بتكون تحب الأولاد تعطيهن من جوا من داخلها بحقيقة بمحبة وهذا اللي هاي أهم إشي يعني إن هي المعلمة التغيير هو بس بده يكون بالمعلمة نفسها. The teacher meets the child, recognizes what the child needs to learn, and creates the conditions within which that's possible. Every child is asking to be seen. Every child wants to find their way into the world, wants to find their direction, their task. And I think today a lot of children seem to be getting lost, young people lost in that I don't know who I am. Every child has the right to have a surplus on positive memories about his school time. Because we know today that the memories, the quality of the memories, are quite essential to overcome traumata, to overcome illnesses, to overcome problems in your biography. 
We have to actually now attend to what are the real developmental needs of a generation of children that are becoming much more traumatized by the experiences that they're having in our living environment. Also montags äh, ist hier ein Morning Circle, wo alle Klassen im Kreis hier herumstehen. Diese Form der Inklusion, wo alle Schulen, alle Kinder mit verschiedensten Förderbedarfen, auch die ganz normalen Walter-Schüler, hier beisammen sind, das ist die Methode, die Anonymität zu durchbrechen. Gut oder schlecht? Gut oder schlecht? Inclusion is one of the key pillars of Waldorf education since its cradle. In 1918, the Goetheanum was built in Dornach, this small village outside of Basel. Dr. Steiner could have founded his first Waldorf school in Dornach. It would have been easy, he had an easy walk to work, and it would be a lot less fuss. He started it in inner city Stuttgart, a huge commute for him all the difficulties of bringing these groups of kids together whose parents not only had never talked with each other at this level, but who had tremendous disdain for each other. And so we need to remember that that is how we should talk. It's our language. And then we should think, what does inclusion look like today? Some of the experiences these young children have had in their lives are seeped in uh, living in a community like Oakland and being resilient in that community. That when they're able to bring beauty and see the good and the light in the world, that is the solve. To me, that's the essence of what Waldorf could do for the world. Me encanta ver el empeño que tienen en que Victor aprenda, o sea, se supera en los en las cosas que él eh, tenía dificultades para hacer o que a él no le gustaba expresar, a él no expresaba lo que sentía y es, es cosa que ahora lo está haciendo. Él se expresa, a él si no le gusta algo, pues... When you don't know the other, you can imagine the most incredible things about the other. You can demonize the other, you can vilify the other. But when you know the other intimately and that other is your friend, your classmate, the one you grew up with, then you can't so easily be convinced as to the imagination of the other through propaganda, through media, through politics. There's a more intimate knowledge that trumps anything else. You're entering into a world of increasingly rich diversity. That something happens when you are intentionally inclusive with the right supports, that everybody wins. And you don't know that until you try it. It's such a life experience to come every day to the classroom, as we do in World of Education, and to say with Jewish Hebrew speakers and with Muslim Arab speakers, Nuri shams al-ghali yuniru li yawmi adamati ruhi bi nafs we give and we receive. We are responsible and we trust. Part of making a child able to deal with circumstances is the fact that we have to make them willing to investigate because they're not limitations, they're initiations, they're waking up the being. So the role of the teacher in many ways becomes this wonderfully creative challenge of staging moments that are so real that the child can meet them. On this side, most of the force is gonna be in that direction. In Waldorf, there's a lot of why questions that are answered. So you start off the experiment and you observe a phenomenon. You say, why? And so then you dig a little deeper and why, 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 why? And eventually the whys run out because human knowledge runs out. Why did Napoleon return? It's a riddle. 
right? Huh? Why did he return? There's no really an easy answer to climate change. There's no easy answer to ending war or poverty. You know, you have to actually burrow in and figure this stuff out. It's not information that they want alone. They want a truth. تربية الفالدوف هي بتكمل واحد الثاني يعني بتخليش قطع صغيرة ناقصة كمان تربية بالداخل تربية على المحبة وزي ما قلت تربية على الإنسانية تربية بدأ بلا حدود بلا يعني خفش من الآخر I think it was so important in the 20th century that Waldorf education really tried to find out his, its own identity its own specials, what, what is the unique point of a Waldorf school. But for the future, I think it's much more interesting how can we really relate, relate and co-work with different understandings of the human being. Development means to lift it from one consciousness to the next. To develop ourselves, to develop the earth, to develop community. But I see we have to digest it. We have to bring it in another form. For the sake of the development of another people, not myself. Uh, and perhaps I develop also myself when I do that. It's possible to find your way as an Egyptian, as a Muslim or a Christian or Coptic or Jewish, person uh, to, to go your, the path of cultural evolution you are part of and at the same time develop your own consciousness and uh, your human uh, side. <laughs> いつもの考え方じゃないところで保護者も直感的にあそうかもっていう思えるそこでつながっているような気がします。Weil überall auf der Welt Menschen sind, die vielleicht örtlich weit voneinander entfernt sind, aber man spürt, man ist irgendwie nah aneinander dran durch die Ziele, die man und die Werte, die man vielleicht hat. This goes beyond cultural differences. This goes beyond uh, political differences, this goes beyond economic differences between people. It's about uh, focusing on a human task. How do we sense and cognize what is coming to the world and prepare ourselves in such a way to meet it? This shift in consciousness will become much more expressive in the world in the next 25 years. Much as a hundred years later, we will be living in a very differently cognized reality. You can see it, you can feel it, yes. Board of Education make uh, children, normal children, strong for life. It's about hope, it's about faith, it's about grace. Because teachers, we have to have grace that we don't have all the answers. We have to understand our children and their families in the community that they're our primary source for learning. They help us in our becoming, of being our better selves. Vielleicht ist das auch der Grund, warum ich selbst Lehrerin werde, weil ich für meine Kinder möchte, dass sie wirklich eine Schulzeit haben, die sie stärkt und ihnen Vertrauen für die Welt und ihre Aufgaben schenkt. <lacht>